I was coming this morning down uh, Lake Washington in the UCC church there had a, had a science and this year try to be more inclusive. And I thought, wow, it's a good thought. Try to be more inclusive. I just be more inclusive. Just be more inclusive. And everywhere you go, somebody's saying Happy New Year's. You know, on television, we see all the things about the New Year's. How many of you stopped last week and reflected on your life? Anybody? You know, you did. Yes. And so we see that that New Year's is a time for a a a new beginning, new chapter, fresh start. But it's kind of arbitrary, isn't it? Because, you know, what if you use the Chinese calendar? I guess one of the thoughts I had as I was reflecting on New Year's is the fact that every day is a new day. Every day we can have a new year. We don't have to wait till January 1st to have a new year. But somehow or other, we do seem to work in these chunks of weeks, months, and years. Because that's what we've made. That's the, that's the time, the, the, the definitions that we've made. And, and so when we get to a new year, we stop and we sing. So this morning we're going to have, in a little bit, we're going to have what's called a white stone ceremony or ritual. And so everybody should have a stone. If you didn't get a stone, let us know. There's some on the seats. And you should have gotten there. If you didn't get a stone, then. Here's the box of stones, pencils, and a little bit. There's a little card that tells you that these stones came from Jerusalem, and there's a map that shows where these came from. Uh, they're special little stones. So if you don't have one, Um, 
places that start out with the name Clean Slate. There's Clean Slate Cleaners. <laughs> There's Clean Slate Tattoo Removal. <laughs> Last week we did a we did a burning bowl ceremony, and for those of you who were not here, what we did is we wrote down all the things that we were ready to let go of for the year, and we came up and we we burned the piece of paper. It was a ritual of release, and so when you have a clean slate, you know you you wipe all the stuff off, and you you how many of you are old enough to remember chalkboard? <laughs> you know, you, I remember that, that during the year they would be sort of, sometimes they would be really black, and other times the year they'd be just kind of dusty, dusty, because they'd be erased but not washed. But we have a clean slate, and we have the opportunity to have a clean slate in our life in any moment, in every moment. We can have a clean slate just by making it so just by what we think in here, by what we determine, we can have a clean slate. No matter what has happened in the past, no matter what the circumstance is, no matter what your habit is, no matter what your issue is, you can have a clean slate. And you can have it in an instant. Just like that. Now, most of us don't do that, do we? We don't do that. We don't change our minds in an instant. We hang on to things, and we worry, and we, we carry them around with us. We use them as things that hold us back. So as I was contemplating today, I thought back to last year. We got, we did the same ceremony last year. And the word I got was joy. And I really went all out for this word joy. I tried to find ways to be joyful. I don't know if it showed up for anybody else that I was joyful, but it showed up for me. <laughs> I mean, I got a bracelet that says joy on it. And my bracelet vibrates every hour. And so I can be in the midst of, you know what, <laughs> and my bracelet vibrates and I stop and I look and think and I realize that no matter how sad, despondent, depressed, hurt feelings, no matter what is going on in my life, and when I stop in that, that instant and I look around, you know, I'm I've got clothes, I've got food, I have a beautiful church, I have wonderful friends. Why am I not grateful? And so I get to make that choice. And it is a choice, a moment-by-moment moment choice to be grateful and joyful. And so joy was my word last year. It was such a good word, I might make it that word this year. I don't know. When we pray, I'll get my word. In Bible times, Names meant something. And if you look on the internet, you can look up your name and find out the meaning behind your name. How many of you got a cup that had your name on it and and and, and it had the meaning? Um, Elizabeth. The meaning of Elizabeth is devoted to God. I mean, did my mother know that when she named me that I was going to become a minister? So I changed my name to Beth, but it still says devoted to God. <laughs> Greeks. 
he became Paul. Now, Saul is a Jewish name, and in Greek he is Paul. But in the Bible, he goes from Saul to Paul. And that signifies that he changed his nature. In the very beginning, Abram was changed to Abraham. Sarah to Sarah. Jacob was changed to Israel. Change in the name. And so those stories are in Genesis, um, in the 17th chapter, the 32nd chapter. You can look them up and you can read about them. Um, and in John, Simon's name was changed to Peter upon this rock I built my church. So a new name and a new nature. And so when we do this white stone ceremony, what we're looking at is our name for the year, our word for the year, our nature for the year. For some people, it might be a new career. It might be travel. It might be hope. It might be whole. It might be healthy. It might be transformed. It might be joy. Only you know that. In that song we sang about God giving us the words, God will give you the words. And so even when we're in meditation, if you feel like you're making it up, that's okay. It's God making it up with you, as you, through you. So we're at a time of a new year, a time of renewal, a time of, of taking a road less traveled, maybe for some of us. Maybe we've been going down a particular road in our life, and it's time to go down another road. Maybe it's time for us to get out of a rut. I know y'all heard me say this lots of times, but Alaska, you could get in a rut, and you'd have to stay there in the winter. The ruts, you went where the rut went. <laughs> The biblical verse that is back of our ritual is from Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what Spirit is saying. To everyone who conquers, I will give some of them hidden not now. And I will give a white stone and on the white stone is written a new name that no one knows except the one who receives it. In other words, I can't give you your new name. I can't tell you what the word is that you're going to put on your stone when we go into meditation. Only you will know that. And I want to Again, say that you can trust that what name comes to you. You may have already been working on that name for the last months. You may write this minute say, well, I know what I'm going to write on my stone. And there'll be others of you who, like me last year, had no clue what was going to come forward and come forth to be on my stone. So just... As this word comes to you, what I want you to do, you'll take your stone home. Now, we've given you a pencil because the pencil writes on the stones really well. I do have a little <coughs> bucket of markers of, uh, that you can put on. You can, you can make it free. But for our meditations part, pencil works better than the ballpoints that were in the chairs. So that's why you have the <coughs> It's an arbitrary thing. It's a choice thing that you get to make. You get to participate in today's ritual and make it meaningful in your life. You get to make it meaningful. I don't make it meaningful. You make it meaningful for yourself. You choose to say, I'm going to get something here that's for me to work on this year, and it is meaningful to me. And that meaning is for you. No one can change your life. There is nothing outside. There is 
no situation that can change your life. I went through life looking for someone to take care of me. And guess what? There's no one that can take care of you. They can do things that support taking care of you. But you are responsible for you. You are the one that determines how you feel when you walk out of this room. You are the one that determines whether you're happy or sad. You are the one that God has given the power to. And God has given you all the power you need. God has given you the ability to make a decision this morning to walk forth with a new name, with a new nature, with a new life. I'm going to ask that we put on some meditation music and I'll invite you to pick up your stones and hold them in your hand. <clears throat> Everybody have a stone. Sacred time. You and I get to choose for it to be a perfect and true time. A time between you and God. A time between me and God. We don't have to force anything. We don't have to figure anything out. For the next few moments, we let our ego just step aside. We let it be still and we make a space in our hearts for the Divine Holy Spirit, for our Divine Holy Self to come through. Trust in this moment. Trust Spirit within. Remembering now that God is in every breath. I invite you to take a deep breath. Breathing in God's energy. <clears throat> Exhale. Feel this energy moving through you as your shoulders relax. Breathe God in. Exhale and feel your face and your jaws relax. Breathe God in. Exhale, breathing out. Feel your body settling easily and comfortable in your chair. Watching your breath as it gently moves in and out. You are breathing God in in every moment. His essence permeates every fiber of your being. Now is the time to release, relax, to let go, to know that God is here. God, I feel your presence within and around me. And I am willing to release anything that no longer serves into your hands. Whatever it is in my consciousness that needs to be changed, help me today to change it at death. I am open to receive your guidance and to begin this new year in my new life with a clean slate, a new spiritual identity. I'm willing to be free from beliefs that have held me in bondage. I open now to a deeper awareness of what you have planned for me. I am willing, God, dear God, to allow you to express through me. <clears throat> Feel everything that this present moment fall away. Feel 
Feel the stillness. Feel the quiet. Feel the presence of oneness. <coughs> Loving Creator, I feel such peace in my soul. <coughs> my heart opens to your unconditional love. <coughs> my body fills with the sacredness of your holy healing. My mind is bathed in the warmth of your glowing light. Your peace floods my entire being. I am soothed and lifted above all concerns. Feel your calming presence as I relax. I am serene and secure in your presence. I let go. I trust in you. Your goodness flows through me. I am receptive to the gift of your guiding light my true source of understanding and wisdom. I look forward and wait to be anointed with my new name, chosen especially as a gift from God. I invite you to wait in the silence to be anointed with your new name. When you receive your word, sit lovingly with it, seeing it in your mind's eye, written upon your heart. Open the spirit. Ask for a deeper understanding. Ask if there are any next steps to take. Be still now. Be gentle. Do not rush or force your word to come. Just listen to the stillness within you. Let these words be yours, dear God. In the silence, I open my mind and my heart to you. I ask that my highest truth reveal to me my new name, my new quality. You are speaking to me and I am listening to what you're asking me to become, what it is you want me to experience. What is the word that you have chosen specifically to guide me? Sweet Spirit, I am listening. Whisper to my soul. Reveal my true essence in the silence.
keeping your eyes closed, bring your awareness to the stone. With your mind's eye, see the word God has given you written on it. And let your heart say, thank you, God, I accept. Thank you, God, I accept. Thank you, God, I accept my new name, my new beginning, my new me. And as we sit in the silence, as you're moved to do so, when you feel spirit moving you, let your eyes open and allow God to move through your hand to write your sacred word, his gift to you on your stone. We breathe deeply and we inhale the sweetness of this sacred time together. We say, sweet spirit, we thank you for this opportunity to begin again. We thank you for this brand new beginning. With hearts filling over with love and gratitude, we give thanks. Thank you for new life, a new sense of peace, strength, and wholeness. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so it is. during the day a word will come to you and it is your symbol of a new year and a new life. And you get to choose. That's our basic unity philosophy that we get to choose. So what I want to say is Happy New Year. And Happy New Year.